It's a strange feeling. I imagine this is how a knot not feeling stripped to the sword and rank. Actually, it's almost time I'm... Or, it's almost like I'm taking her in the holy matrimony. Yep. <laughs> That's also a really good picture of Altera. I'll make sure to like post it on Twitter eventually. I'll get a screenshot of it for everyone. The ring of the rule. Or the ring to rule Seraph. The moon sails royal authority. Did I just hand enemy? Or hand the enemy something unthinkable? On top of that, the command seals. What? I just did can't ever be taken back. お前敵を Well, we have gave over uh, the ring to Altera. Uh, I completely forgot you don't have a, a choice in not battling, so... And from what I, I remember, um, Altera is also really, really strong. Also, I have to remember how to play. Uh, it's been a fat minute. Where'd the plane go? Also, I can't use co-cast even if I want to on this. But yeah, all of Altera's stages are like really small. Mainly because, well, you know. She also has like absurd range. We'll go and get this chip while we're here. Also. Is it this? But yeah, she can't use the actual, like, the moon drop like everyone else can, or the other main characters. But she's very fun to play as. some better combos, but we're basically, uh, oh, here's one over here.
We did go also for like the harder sector first. So that's a that's a, a weird thing that we did. A weird decision for me. But that's okay. But yeah, as of course, because uh, Altera doesn't have, like, anything, uh, or an army of herself, at least yet. We obviously know she gets one. She just doesn't have one yet. I should actually probably take out that plant. I'll do that. As soon as we go to the right area, that is. Altera also might be like the fastest character in the game. I don't know if she's faster than Nero. Also, her run thing is uh, pretty great. If you didn't notice. Get wrecked, scrub. I like how she cuts the split dimension. Here, though. I think that's a really nice touch. Look who it is, the Skandar. Man, if only defeating those were that easy. Top servants are capable of controlling enemy programs, probably because the Moon Cells allows them to. There are more of them here than I'd expect. Enemy programs, attack programs, to put it more precisely. Coded by the Moon Cell, they attack enemy targets automatically. A normal mage wouldn't have trouble controlling even one, but here, they're an army of them. And here, Altera destroys one after another with her calm, cold precision. She's like a fighting machine, reaping through her enemies without hesitation or remorse. Knowing she aims to destroy the world, I wasn't planning on helping with or helping her with my code cast. But I guess that's a moot point, since she clearly doesn't need them. <laughs> ほかのことは何もできない。必要もない。いや、この制服王のため、自らが砕け散ることも厭わずに突撃してみせる。にしてもお前、いくら何でも壊しすぎだろう。もう少しこう情緒というものは持てんのか。制服王、マケドニアのイスカンダルか。うん。ようこそが制服王
競争なるペルシャのつわものどもよりイスカンダルと呼ばれし男も世の他にはおるまいそれでそういうお前さんは何者だアルテラさて聞かんなだなこれほどの力量であれば思い当たる剣士も二三出てこようものだがとんと心当たりがない貴様もしや正体隠しの特技でも持っているかいや黒い霧はまとってはいないか He's so relaxed, even as he chats with us on the battlefield. We haven't yet experienced the depths of his mono or the power of his noble phantasm, but it's already clear that he's a great hero. This is the top servant who is meant to save Seraph. A great hero summoned to defeat Altera. Is that your policy, though? Iskander? Is it? ならばそうしろ。制服を。やれやれ。久方ぶりの限界だ。少しは世の話に付き合おうとは思わんものか。貴様のやってるそれはな。蹂躙でもなし、さりとて制覇でもない。そんなものは。いや、どうにも込み入
But she doesn't have a transformation. Oh man, we lost an area. That's unfortunate. We'll at least take this area. We won't be too, too out of the areas. And you got a little pose. We didn't learn anything there. Unfortunate. Compared to Iskander's passion, Altera is completely mechanical. Her thoughts are as clear as her body is fierce, without any regard for her own life, without a spark of warmth. Altera fights like an avalanche, and she wins. それが貴様の遺言だったな。大王。その I don't remember ever feeling this kind of a static excitement before. It must be coming from him. Even if he has his own agenda, he admitted his loss right away. King of Conquerors, Iskandar, I don't think we've ever met, but I know his name. He was one of the great kings in the world. He commanded many ferocious warriors and heroes. I see him standing there with his fearless grin. I feel his magnetism radiate off of him. But what will that mean for Altera herself? She's the polar opposite of the King of Conquerors, a cold, calculating destroyer. You defeated the protector of the world. Will you ever be anything but my enemy? And... 
that is where we're going to call the episode. We're going to sit here and look at this. Um, but we're not going to progress any further. So, actually, actually, I don't know if you if you close out, I don't know if it does anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case, though. We'll find out. If not, I guess next week I'll catch us back up to this part. So, yeah. Um, I appreciate everyone for watching. Next week, we see what the aftermath is for uh, Miss Gandar. Because if I remember correctly, you go through a lot with Altera at the beginning. Like, it's a very long stretch. So, I appreciate everyone for watching. Next time, more Fate Extella. We'll be getting close to the end. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.